Are you looking for the perfect Easter punch for your Easter brunch? Well, this punch is absolutely delicious and it's perfect for the springtime because it is full of those fresh, fruity flavors along with being a little boozy. So let's make it. Hi, my name is Aliena and welcome to my kitchen. It's nice to see you guys here. So to start making our punch, we are going to make a homemade strawberry ginger jam. So you need your saucepan and you can turn it on to medium heat. And to that, I'm going to add my fresh strawberries. I have one and a half cups of strawberries. I cut off the ends and then I quartered them. And I can just put this in my saucepan. And I also have a three fourths cup of water. My saucepan's a little hot as well as some ginger. I have a fourth cup of ginger and you don't have to peel your ginger because we are straining our jam. And last time I made this recipe, I actually used half a cup of ginger, but I found it a little bit too gingery for me. But if you are a big ginger lover, then you can keep that half a cup. But today I just want to use a fourth cup. Next, I'm adding in some sugar. I have one cup of just granulated sugar. I feel like that's always a satisfying pour in. And we can give this a mix. And you do wanna let this cook simmering for about 15 minutes. And I like to mash my jam just to make sure my strawberries are getting mashed up. But I'm going to wait and let it simmer for a few minutes so the strawberries are really nice and tender before I mash it. Now that it's been simmering for about five minutes and my strawberries are nice and tender, I can bring in my masher and mash them down. And I have to say this smells absolutely amazing. You smell all that fresh ginger and strawberries and I want to try some now. We have to wait for our cocktail. Now that my jam has cooked down, it has this beautiful strawberry color. We can turn off the heat and we're going to strain our jam because we don't want all the pulp in our drink. Very carefully pour your jam through the strainer because it is very hot and you don't want to burn yourself. And doesn't that look absolutely delicious? I love the color of it. And you do want to let this cool slightly before adding it to your drink because it'll melt all the ice and it will really heat it up. So I like to pop it in the fridge for about 20 minutes to just let it cool down. It's now time to start assembling our cocktail. So here I have my punch bowl and to that I'm going to add some freshly squeezed lime juice. I have four ounces of lime juice. Along with some pineapple juice, you can use store-bought or freshly squeezed. But if you're doing store-bought, I like to check the ingredient list because sometimes they'll add other things. You just want pure pineapple juice for this. And I have six ounces. Along with some palm juice. I love palm juice. This is just pomegranate juice. And this is six ounces as well. I love watching all the colors change. And we can also add in our jam or our syrup. And this makes it a little over one cup and you do wanna use all of it because this adds such a good flavor to the drink. There we go. And I also have some ginger beer just to give a little carbonation. And you do want to use six ounces of this as well. This is a two ounce shot glass, by the way. I used to think this was a one glass or a one ounce shot glass and I made some very boozy drinks. Okay. And now to give it a little booziness, we have some cognac or I'm using Grand Marnier because it's so good. It's one of my favorite liqueurs. And you're going to want to add eight ounces of Grand Marnier, but if this is a little too boozy for your liking, you can always subtract it or add more depending on your taste buds. Now we can just give this a stir together. Just 
This addition is optional, but my mom makes these really cool ice cubes. And I really like them because they help the drink from becoming diluted. Because if you just add a bunch of ice cubes to your punch, it will dilute it. And this melts a lot slower. And then as it melts, you get all those fresh fruits and limes and everything you want coming into your drink. And it also looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just going to carefully place this in my punch. It's a little slippery. There we go. And I also have one for my glass. This one's just full of strawberries. And I have to say, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I'm always really impressed by these. If you're like me and you like to make things ahead of time so you're not going crazy when people arrive, I recommend not adding your champagne in until your guests arrive because it will go flat and it makes the drink not as good because you want that bubbly champagne. So I'm not going to add mine in right now. I'm just going to add some to my glass and I'm gonna try not to spill even though I always spill. Ooh, it looks so good and I'm not gonna lie, I did spill. Wow, that is so good. It's perfectly sweet. It's not overly sweet, which I love. And it has all that fresh fruitiness along with that little zip from the ginger. I absolutely love this drink. So please let me know if you try it in the comments down below. Also, if you wanna see some more homemade easy punch recipes, there should be a playlist right here or over here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing Easter Sunday. Cheers.